Welcome, we made it. I'm so excited to show you guys the after. We've been very busy for the last few days getting it ready. So sorry this upload has taken a little bit of time. But I think you'll be pretty amazed by the results after all that construction. Now, if you're just joining this tour, you can see the before of this house and I'll link to it below. This will be part of a playlist of all of my videos in France and then you can get caught up. Okay, so let's start with the entry. So my idea here is to have an entry that has all of these market baskets hung on the wall. So I'm still looking for some sort of like hat rack, something antique that I can put here. So we're gonna be shopping the Bercants tomorrow and see if we can find something. But these are the different baskets that I have found in town that I thought would be so cool to hang here so that when people rent the house, they have baskets to do the market because you definitely need a big basket. This one is one of my favorites, look at this. Isn't this fabulous? So great. And then there's this little one if you just have small things to buy. And then this one is really cute. This one actually comes with its own change purse. <laughs> Isn't that cute? So you've got your wallet, you got your market basket, and then off you go. <laughs> then come in here. This is my favorite part, the kitchen. So we spent a lot of time thinking through this kitchen. So remember we had that little kitchen where we just totally reconfigured. We knocked out the wall into the dining room, expanded the house out six feet, and then added a really nice, large sized living room. So over here is sort of the bread station. Um, we have a party that we're planning tonight for friends that have really helped us with the house. So it's sort of our first dinner party. So my husband went this morning to get a bunch of baguettes. Then I wanted all the dishes that people use for breakfast right in plain sight. So we've got the coffee cups, juice cups, cereal bowls, bigger glasses, toast plates, the kettle, so that it's really easy to find. So if people are renting this house, you wake up in the first morning, I didn't want people looking through cabinets trying to find stuff. It's all here to get them on their way. So the fridge is really small and compact compared to our American refrigerators, but that's okay because that means you get to go to the market every three days, which, believe me, is so much fun. And then for all the storage, we did really deep drawers so that you can get a lot of pots and pans in here, which I think really helps. Um, and then the oven is here. And this is a little, they're telling me it's a combination oven microwave, which I haven't really figured out yet. So I gotta read the manual on that. But when I heard microwave, I thought that was kind of strange with all of the metal inside, but that's what they're telling me. But that's what they're telling me, so we'll figure it out. And then we did an induction cooktop here. And then this is a really beautiful collection of serving pieces. So I'll show you a little clip of that. This morning's big project was unwrapping all of this beautiful china that was given to us by a friend of Philippe's. His grandmother died and they were emptying the house. And so this china came with it. And what it was wrapped in was not newspaper. It was wrapped in all of this gorgeous antique linen. <laughs> So we're sorting it now and we're putting it into different piles. So like this is a pile of ones that are kind of damaged that I need to see if I can repair. See, they're sort of stained here. So this is the try to fix pile. This is the sort of random cute little doily pile. <laughs> Maybe we could do something with these. I think they might be fun on a tray, like for cocktails or if you're doing like um, maybe a little tea party. And then these are the gorgeous cocktail napkins. See how cute are these? And over here, this is the not sure we're gonna keep pile because they're pretty colorful. Not sure, I'm gonna see if maybe we can give these to some friends. Then this pile is my oh, it's so pretty pile. <laughs> Look at this. I thought this could be nice for like a little tea table in the garden. Look at it, it's all embroidered in beautiful roses. Isn't that gorgeous? And then this one is also really pretty, which I thought could be great on a tray out in the garden, like with some champagne glasses and a big champagne bucket. <laughs> and then this is really gorgeous. Look at this. This is an antique Euro sham. See, so it's a pillowcase. And I thought it would be really great in my daughter's room, but we gotta find another one. So we're gonna look through this heap and see if maybe there's another one. <laughs> so we will see. Then the other thing we were unwrapping this morning are these gorgeous oyster plates. We wanna hang them up here. So I think maybe something like this or do a pattern could be cool. So we're not exactly sure where, 
Um, but we'll figure it out and show you. And then another thing that came with all the china set were all of these beautiful serving pieces. So look at this. I thought they made such a great display on the top shelf. See, so there's like the little sauce boat. And just look at the detail. It's all the empire style. And I love just the subtle hint of green and gold. I think it's so pretty. So there were cover casseroles and little like fruit bowls and compotes that you can put things in, which I thought was so great. And ironically, there is like just enough <laughs> to fill that whole shelf. And this one I love because it has a covered little top to it. We have to wash these all, but I just wanted to get them out of the way so no one broke them because we're expecting a bunch of workmen here in a minute. So we thought we'd just get them out of the way. But it's coming together. So one of the things that I have realized about renting homes in France when you have a lot of people in the house is that you can have serious bottlenecks that happen, especially around mealtime. And the bottlenecks happen in three areas. It's the food prepping in the kitchen, the table setting, and the drink mixing. So anytime we get ready for what is called the aperitif in France, which is taken very seriously, <laughs> which is at least an hour or two of a cocktail hour, you have a lot of people descending in the kitchen, grabbing glasses, grabbing snacks. It's just sort of like chaos when you're in there trying to prep the food. So to alleviate that, I came up with my three quadrants. So here we have the kitchen. This is where all the food prep will be. And there's a nice big island so you can have people prepping on this side, people prepping on this side, and somebody prepping vegetables and washing dishes over there. Then to set the table, we have this dining room here. And you can see we went with a really long dining table because at any one time we can have 12 to 14 people. So I think this table will really seat about 16, which is perfect. And then we did a very big buffet that can hold all the dishes and serving platters. So like in here, we have all the knives ready to go. And then we have all of the plates. There's some candles in here, you can see. You see we have all the plates, the serving platters. Sorry, we still need to kind of clean this up. But everything is here, so whoever is setting the table, they don't need to come into the kitchen, which I think is just really helpful. Then to help with all of the drink making, I came up with this idea, which I think is gonna work really well. We found this old chest um, online. There's this really great website called Le Bon Coin. I think it's Le Bon Coin or Silenci, one or the other, where you can get these wonderful antiques. Um, really, I think it's all over Europe. And we found this one for a real steal, and this is gonna be my bar. So in here, you have all the glasses, everything you need for aperitif, the cocktail napkins, the drinks will be here, and then we'll put all of the kind of little gâteau aperitif snacks in here. I'm looking for a tray that we can put here and some great painting that I need to find at a local Brocante or flea market. <laughs> then we did find this little piece, which I think is fun. This is an old chest. I'm not really sure what it was used for, but we're gonna be using it for the pool towels. And this is kind of funny. This was given to us by the pool company after the pool was installed. They gave us these little towels and sunglasses. <laughs> Cute. All right, now let's go to the main living area of the house. So we went with an open floor plan. You remember, we knocked down all of these walls so we can have one big room. So we got rid of the fireplace, which was here, and then we extended the house about six feet out so that you can see it's a lot more spacious. So the concept with the furniture was to keep everything low so that you could see the view outside to the pool. So we kept the sofa backs low, we kept the chairs low, we put a mirror here so you could reflect the outside so that you really get a sense that you're almost outside um, because it's so open, which I think is really fun. And then because you see the kitchen from the dining room, I mean, it's really part of the same room, I didn't want it to feel like a kitchen. So that's why we did not have any upper cabinets. I, I really would love to do this to our LA house, to be perfectly honest, just get rid of the upper cabinets and just have shelving. Um, and then we kind of used turned legs for the island. So again, it looks like a piece of furniture. We're waiting for some stools. They're sort of lost in transit. We don't actually know where they are or when they're coming, <laughs> but hopefully they're coming soon. And then the floors are all of this kind of matte concrete, um, which I just thought was gonna be so much easier for a beach house with people coming in, sandy feet, you just vacuum it up. It just was a lot more cost effective to do that throughout the whole house than to actually try to do tile or wood. And then these are these sweet little chairs 
um, that a friend of ours gave us. You, if you follow the Maison Coley Instagram, you'll see that these chairs had this really kind of old and tired fabric on it. And we went with something, just a clean, crisp stripe, which I think is really nice. Um, just a little punch of soft color against all of the wood. We went with this ginormous cocktail table, which because there's nothing on it, looks really big. But we will be putting lots of beautiful like cocktail table books of the area. We just have one to begin, but there'll be more to come. But I love a generous sized cocktail table because of the, how the French entertain. One of the things that I really love about how the French entertain, especially during the cocktail hour, is that they typically have lots of glasses and little snacks, saucisson sec that they're cutting, and it's really nice to have this room so that everybody can kind of reach things. And I don't know, I just think it's a really lovely way to have a nice cocktail hour. So we're gonna fill the table up so it doesn't look like a stage. Although my little daughter has been sitting on this thing, dancing on it, so <laughs> maybe it will be a stage at some point. And then we have two little chairs on either side of the armoire, which unfortunately this armoire needs to be moved about six centimeters so that this is not butting up to the radiator. So we're waiting until we have a big party and we've got a couple of strong men that can just push that thing. <laughs> you can see from the tippy top, it just, fits <laughs> so i think it was meant to be but what's nice about this armoire is it came from a family friend his mom was clearing out his house and he said do you want this armoire and the way that they moved it is they took it all apart apparently that's what they did back in the day to move these large pieces from place to place it just kind of broke down and then they put it back together again and what we use it for is to put a tv especially this summer because it's the european cup and my husband his brothers and friends are like glued to the tv rooting on france <laughs> so we put the TV in here, here, and then we also put, so, sorry, it's kind of messy, but then we also put games and stuff for the kids. So it's really functional as well as decorative. We can do it with two large sofas, just because this is the type of house you really want to be comfortable in. And so they're really great. They're the kind of sofa that just sort of swallows you up and you can relax. And I think what's nice is that you get a good view from either position. So when you're sitting here, you get to see the kitchen, and talk with people who are in the kitchen. And when you're sitting over here, you get to see the outside, which is really nice. But really the best part of this room are these sliding glass doors. Let me show you what I mean. So right now they're closed, which is fine because it gives you a nice view. So you can slide these all the way into the wall. And then the outdoor seating is also equally important for a house like this, I think, because we constantly are eating outside as well as inside. So we have enough room for 12, which is great. And we can always pull up a few more chairs if we need to. And then you can see the pool that we put in and we'll go check that out in a second. But I also wanted to show you the pergola. So we put in this pergola um, just to sort of provide shade. Ideally, we're gonna have these grapevines growing up it like this. Um, but they're still young, although I think we see a few grapes. Check that out. That's promising. And they're going to be yellow grapes, which I think will be really interesting. So until they grow up, we have actually put in what they call canis, which you can kind of see is sort of that bamboo-y looking stuff, which adds a nice shade. And then yesterday, my husband was on this little <laughs> ladder hanging all of these little bulbs because he loves that sort of look when it's all lit and you're sort of sitting under it. I think that'll be really fun for tonight. And then we've got the barbecue there. And I think in typical French fashion during the summer, we're just gonna be doing lots of merguez and sausages to keep it simple. I'll probably put together a couscous salad, um, cheese, dessert, and it will be really fun. And then over here, we're doing like a little seating area. I think we need two more chairs, but these chairs are super comfy um, because they're low slung. And so they really support your back. And then you can see the side, we put in these little planters. And then this is gonna be a planter just like for drinks with ice. And then we put this pool in, which is a saltwater pool. So it's really nice on your skin. Right now we have the little robot trying to clean it. 
And then I put these lanterns out here because these lanterns, if they could talk, we bought these probably about 10 years ago for my husband's 50th birthday party and every rental house that we have rented in France, they've been uh, coming with us because my brother-in-law stores them in his garage. There's seven of them and then we put them on the other side of the pergola too. So I think he was all too happy to give them back to us <laughs> for their permanent resting spot here at our house now. So that'll be fun, we'll light those tonight. And then if you remember, oh, and then this is this beautiful weeping willow tree. We're sort of testing the lights to see where we wanna put them and I think they'll probably go right there so that they'll light the tree at night. And then unfortunately we had to rebuild this whole little pool cabin because it was just falling down. But we're gonna be planting some hydrangeas here, some blue hydrangeas there and there. But if you remember what that view looked like before, and this is what it looks like now, uh, I think it's definitely coming together. All right, you guys, so this is part one of probably a two-part video tour, but as soon as we get the bedrooms together, I'm still kind of working on those, I'll show you the bedrooms, the bathrooms, and sort of the front of the house. Um, we've planted some really beautiful espalier trees. All right, until then, bye.